Okay guys, so a lot of you have a question about how to make uh, regular operations on this game on Ship Tycoon. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how you can do uh, regular operations and uh, mainly right now I only have container ships so I'm gonna show you with container ships but uh, the basics are uh, also apply for um, all tankers and uh, gas and car carriers so if you see here this is all the contracts I have won so uh, the basic stuff when you want to do uh, regular operations is you want them to be uh, two ways so you don't just apply to one for example you don't just take this one uh, you want it also to come back for example here I have a two-way one from uh, this port in France to Aden and from Aden on the way back to uh, France so that way uh, you make your contracts uh, profitable because if you only do it one way then uh, your ship has to come back and it comes back empty and that's a lot of expenses in gas uh, in fuel so uh, also what you can do uh, because these ones are not that easy to find they're not always uh, that straightforward as uh, this one because I find another one here straightforward from here to Sydney and Sydney to back to uh, Aden but also you can do uh, for example a, a three-point contract or four-point contract but this one is kind of harder to make because you have to uh, consider that uh, there's a short distance uh, where you're not gonna make any money and maybe if you don't do it right you can lose money or if you do, uh, do it too far away and um, you can be short on time to complete the uh, the tunnels they they want you to do in one year so for example these kinds uh, of uh, regular operations are let me check one this one I got Rotterdam to Tanjung Priok and on my way back it's a uh, Tanjung Priok to Southampton so uh, as you can see it's not uh, the same city where I come back as the one where I start but Rotterdam and Southampton are really close so uh, I have this one as my um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if it's a branch or it's my regular one as I think it's just a branch but I got this branch here so I could find easily from uh, Rotterdam to my branch and from my branch back to a city near Rotterdam so that way uh, it's gonna be almost like a two-way uh, regular operation would you only lose a little bit of time uh, going from Rotterdam to South Anthem and you can do this you can do this as well with uh, four cities but this one is kind of harder to find and to uh, make profit with but for example I'm applying right now to one and um, this one I'm going from Tanjung Priok to Houston and then Houston to Singapore oh no sorry sorry about that this one's a tr three way too because Houston is my Houston is the same city so yeah um, no I don't think I got it mm. I don't think I got any four-way contract to show you so uh, a lot of people uh, win this uh, contract bidding and then they don't know how to operate the ship so it's really easy you just take any ship um, with the enough amount of tonnelates to operate the uh, contract and basically what you will do uh, I'm just gonna show you when I get to one port and here I got to Durban so for example if I want this ship to operate a contract it's really easy I just go to regular I select the kind of contract I want well, I really don't want this ship to go to a contract but let's say we want this one and automatically it selects the way back trip so what it's gonna do is just go from Aden to France and from France back to Aden and 
this is going to be uh, just two ways and it's going to have one contract for the way uh, for the way in and one contract for the way back and uh, the way you operate it is you just press OK and now your ship is operating this contract and you just go to your main screen I'm not gonna do it right now because I, I don't want this ship to operate this contract but this is what's gonna happen uh, as soon as I go back to my mainstream and I put play to my game time uh, the ship is gonna start um, doing maintenance refueling and start doing this trip so um, if you want to start a regular contract I recommend you to go to Aiden or uh, France to start it because otherwise uh, the ship is gonna travel empty to one of these locations for example right now I'm in Durban in Africa so the closest one should be Aden so we're gonna have a, a trip to to Aden empty and you're gonna lose money so I recommend just trying to uh, look for a contract a, re a regular um, just one of these contracts are around here and try to look for something for Aden and then you can start right now I have nothing so <clears throat> as you can see right now I have these contracts because I'm not doing regular operations but if I click here and I click one of my contracts I press OK then I'm gonna have a contract you can see uh, the, con the other contracts are not showing over here so uh, now that you know how to operate them uh, let me just undo this because I don't want it for this ship uh, you can ask me like um, well how do I find these two ways contracts uh, every time you go to a city a port a different port you're gonna see the list the list of contracts around here you click this button and then you can see them over here so what we really want is to find uh, contracts that go to your branches or your uh, headquarters because that way now I know we got one contract from Durban to uh, Tanjung Prayog you can see the different color that's because it's one of my branches so I can just go back here and check in my branches if I have one contract for my way back so we're trying to look for Durban uh, Durban 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 I think we don't have any nope we don't have anything for Durban but maybe we can see here Durban we can find uh, a different port that is close for example Cape Town or uh, Mombasa uh, so we can see uh, Metro Vancouver La Habana okay we have no contract here um, but uh, this is basically the way how you look for contracts and in this case in this game I'm using these four chips um, the 11 tons one because um, what I really want with these chips is just to scout as, uh, as they make money doing contracts uh, they scout a lot of ports where I can just check um, different contracts and see if I can win something right now I'm operating contracts with these four ships and I'm waiting for with this ship I'm operating a contract too I'm building another uh, ship here um, which is gonna operate one of these contracts I'm bidding right now and I'm also bidding for a small ships contracts for my uh, this one over here that right now are uh, oper uh, doing free operation and I want them to do regular contracts so I just find one for now uh, I mean two yeah two this two and this two Houston we got Houston to Singapore and then Tanjuk Priyog to Houston the other one we got is Tanjuk Priyog, uh, Priyog to Rotterdam and then Rotterdam to Tanjuk Priyog and the last one is uh, for a big ship that I'm building right now it's gonna be uh, from Tanjung uh, Priok to Felixstow and then on the way back it's gonna be Bergen to Tanjung Priok so as you can see um, 
you you may find hard to find these contracts these two ways contracts so i i, I really recommend to have scout ships like uh, all the ships you've had in regular operation or every time they get to a port you just uh, go to here and you check if you got one of your branches that's the easy, uh, easiest way uh, also, one thing you could do is try to memorize or write in a paper or write in a document, I don't know, um, the different contracts that you're interested in and then when you get to another city you can see if you can do a triangle or a straightforward uh, forward route. But um, I really don't like that because I have a lot of scouts so I just can check with my branches. Well, we check this one. The first. Um, the first thing you have to check is the tons. You got enough chips to cover this. Um, then the price. It's, it, got, it has to be a good price. And you really need a, um, a back route, you know, a, a route a contract for your way back. Also, you just have to check if you got uh, products that need the refrigeration. Uh, update because um, these ones uh, are gonna cost you um, diamonds so usually I don't spend uh, diamonds for refrigeration I don't know what your strategy is but so uh, just uh, take a look at this first because it happened to me that uh, I applied for one over here in uh, Aden to Sydney and I didn't realize it had refrigeration uh, but luckily I had enough diamonds with the free ones so I could buy the refri uh, refri uh, refrigeration update for this one but um, if you don't have diamonds you don't want to spend money so you should be really paying attention to that so that's basically it and if you have any question guys just let me know uh, this is the uh, regular operation, this is how it works. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.